everyone, Paul Hi, Sam. Welcome to another Active Bench update. So it's been about a month since the last one, and we've got quite a bit done in that time. We'll have a little bit of a chat about that in a minute. Right, I've got a load of things to chat about. We've got a bit of a cheat sheet over there today. Uh, I'm going to try and get through as quick as possible, but I do have a fair bit to talk about. So, Christmas shows. Um, we're here tomorrow night, which will be the uh, 18th, I believe it is. And then we're here um, Sunday, as usual, 10 a.m. Then we're here Wednesday next week, 10 a.m. for our morning show. And then there's no Friday show next week um, of a night but there'll be one on Christmas Eve night instead. It's not going to be a show, it's just going to be an hour or two at some 7 p.m. UK time and primarily it's so we can wish you all Merry Christmas um, and we can open some of our Secret Santa gifts live on air so it won't just be the live crew, there'll be others in there as well um, and then maybe on Christmas Day for an hour um, I might pop on uh, live then as well to do any of the other Secret Santa people that couldn't make it on the Thursday. Um, sorry, it won't be the Saturday, it'll be the Friday, won't it? My God, I'm losing track of the days. So yeah, we do Thursday night live show and I might pop on for an hour on the Friday um, to do the rest of Secret Santas for people that couldn't make it. Whether we'll be on Sunday, I don't know. We're chalking it in for now, we'll pencil it in. Uh, but then we'll go back to Wednesday the week after, uh, and then probably the Friday because it'll be New Year's Eve. So we should be all right, hopefully, to do New Year's Eve as well. So make sure you make note of those. So tomorrow night, Friday, normal show. Sunday, normal morning. Wednesday, normal morning. Thursday, Christmas Eve for an hour. Maybe Friday for an hour in the morning as well at 11 a.m. So yes, hopefully we'll see you next Thursday and you come join us in the, the merriment that is the ISM Christmas live show. As he says quite sarcastically. Um, another thing as well, we are rapidly approaching 50,000 subs. I think we're about 50 away now. So a week or so and we'll be there, no problem at all. And what myself and I decide to do is a bit of a giveaway. So as soon as we have 50,000 subs, I'll make a video, literally just regarding that, five minutes long. And we're just going to ask you to post something in the comments and then I'll do a live random number draw in about a week's time and the winners in the order that they posted wherever the random number picks will win so the first prize is going to be a 100 pound ump gift voucher to spend on our website wherever you want and the second prize will be a 35th scale Ryfield models challenger the new one just come out so keep an eye out for that video um literally as soon as it rolls over 50,000, i'll put the video up and we'll get the ball rolling on that one um and yeah, somebody very lucky is going to win a very, very nice prize. And all you've got to do is comment in the comments. That's all you've got to do to win those lovely prizes. So yeah, we're nearly there, nearly at 50,000 subs. Quite a milestone for the channel. So uh, keep an eye on the, uh, the videos and keep an eye out for that one. Right, YouTube comments as well. This is bugging me really bad because I try and reply to you all. It's just been... Because I've released so many videos and you've all been absolutely fantastic comments and all, and please don't stop commenting. Love reading the comments. Every single comment comes straight through to my YouTube studio on my phone, instantly appears, and I appreciate them all. But I'm about, I think I was about 600 behind easily. Uh, I normally keep on top of them every week, but I've just been that busy modeling. Um, I've not, it's detracted from the time I pay attention to the comments. And I got such a backlog. And I sat there for about two hours of the day and responded to loads of them. Some of you have got a thanks for watching. And I hate doing that, but it was just the only way I could reply. Um, and I got through a lot of them, but I kind of, after a couple of hours, I was like, oh, it's just taking too long. It, it's cutting into the modeling and the video time. So I just decided I have to get to them as and when I can. So you might get a comment in about three months' time from me saying thanks for watching. I have to clear them because they sit in the unresponded to and they're always there. So it always looks like I've got messages I've not responded to. But please don't not comment. I do appreciate them. What I'm going to try and do now is when they come through to me, I'm going to try and reply to them there and then. Which isn't always easy because obviously cuts into family time and things like that. I think it's the only way I'm going to keep on top of them. Because one of the videos has got like 250 comments on it, which is fantastic. I really do appreciate it. And we've released so many videos lately for the Porsche, um, which even I'm surprised about. Um, they've all got loads of comments and I'm just struggling to reply. But please don't not leave a comment to think, oh, I'll try and help. 
I love reading them all. And the feedback's been fantastic. Uh, and some of the comments left on uh, the bench update a while back about the uh, video feedback and the way it's done were very good and quite humbling at times as well. So thank you very, very much. Now, uh, we've just finished the 959 build. My list just vanished as the phone went into sleep. We did a 10 part series on it. We're going to look at it in a minute. I'm going to get it out of the case and have a little look at it on the bench. We've got some nice pictures of it too. Um, that was a 10 part video series. Roughly, what, about five hours of footage altogether? Taken from about 50 hours of footage, probably more actually, 70 hours of footage. I'm going to try and condense that into a 20 minute video just set to music. I know some of you said you wouldn't watch them, but you've got both now. You've got the full series and a quick one like this in the hope it will get a few more views and we might get a few more viewers. So this is a test. Unfortunately, I've decided to test it on one of the longest video builds I've done. Um, rather than just a three part, it will take me no time at all. But all the footage is there. I've saved all the parts, which I don't normally do. Once they're rendered and saved to the computer and uploaded, I normally just delete the file off the PC, well, off the Mac, because I don't need them anymore. And they take up so much space. But I've kept all bar one, which I can get. I've got the raw footage of anyway. Um, all bar one of them are on there. So I can just condense each video down and then add them. But I've got to get 40 minute videos to two minutes because there's 10 of them. It'll make it 20 minutes long. I don't know if I can do it. I'll have to have a go. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. I'm not going to do that separately from all of them. Uh, they're not going to turn into those kind of videos. But I might do them all as a quick video like that because they get so many views, some of these videos. Um, yeah, we'll try that. So keep an eye out for that as well. If you don't see it, I didn't do it. And I kind of thought, I can't do this. It's too big a video build. Um, but we might do it in a future one that's a little bit shorter. So, future builds. I've got a list. I'm doing it in order, so I'm going to try and keep an eye on that. Right. So, the Ferrari build's just come to an end. Uh, we're going to have a look at that in the next venture update because I've got too much to chat about today. I asked everyone that took part in it to put a picture of the builds on ISM. And like I say, we'll do a bench update um, when the next build's done, probably in a week or so, just before Christmas, hopefully. And I'll go through the Ferrari builds on that. So the Ferrari builds come to an end. Loads of people took part. That was great to see. Um, we started the Porsche build on the 14th. And that runs to the 14th of January. And on the 13th of December, we started a new build, which is this. So we're doing the Land of the Rising Sun. And basically, it's any Japanese subject, be it armor, aircraft, figures, cars, bikes, whatever. Um... You want to join in? It's over on ISM. You can tag me on Instagram with the International Scale Modeler tag, um, and we'll take part in that together. Hopefully, so I've chose to do um, the Tamiya R32 Nissan GTR Skyline. Uh, like I said, we'll go in depth in a minute. I've got pictures of what I'm building, where I'm at with it, what's included, uh, and things. We'll go to the bench in a second, have a little look at that. But yeah, if you want to take part, you've got until the 13th of February. We're doing two months in each one of these, but they will start after a month, a new one, because it doesn't take me two months to build a video, uh, build a model. And um, yeah, I really want to progress with it. Now, there is a sci-fi build on the go. Um, whether I take part in it, I don't know. I started it, and I'm kind of like, oh, no. Um, I want to, but I kind of don't. So I'm sorry about that. But loads of people are taking part in it. It's nice to see. I'm not saying it won't, but I might not do the snow speeder like I said I would. Um, I want to video build that. And I'll be honest, after the video builds I've done recently, I've not got any video builds in me at the minute. I struggled enough to do this today because it's just like, oh, more videos. Uh, I'm a bit burnt out on the videos at the minute, so I kind of want to break till after Christmas. So, yeah, the snow speed I want to save for a video build. I've got so many in my head I want to do. Um, I want to do another American car subject because they seem quite popular. I've got an F1 car to do that I want to do um, as a video build as well. And I think I might do a, a GB or a SIG. A SIG is a special interest group build where you specifically focus on one subject. So I think we might do an F1 SIG. Um, yeah. Now the order to do them in, I don't know. And Brian, I know you're watching, mate. Mr. Brian Windmill is going to go mad at me if I don't do the snow speeder. Um, I kind of got the inclination and the itch to do the F1 car next. I got the Lotus Martini, green one. 
but I haven't fully decided yet. Like I say, I'm taking Christmas off in the video builds because I'm, I'm worn out doing them, to be honest. Um, but we're back in a new year with a fresh project. What it is yet, I am not 100% sure. So stay tuned on that one. Now, future video builds, um, I've got loads, loads and loads and loads I want to do. Um, so we will have some interesting builds next year. Next video, sorry, the next bench of that will also go through my build of the year because the skyline should be done by then. And we're looking at about 22, uh, which 11 of which were video build. So not a bad year at all. Um, and I've got so many GB ideas that we'll do German motorsport one. Um, we'll open it up. We've got loads to keep going. They are going to be primarily motorsport based or car based. I do apologize if you're not a car builder. But if I can, you know, the German one we can open fully up, but there will be some special interest ones. Right, before we start waffling about everything, I'm going to butt in. Whether this is edited in perfectly, I'll just butt it in because I've been on a ramble for 15 odd minutes. Let's go and have a look at what's on the bench currently, the 959, and then we'll come back and continue with the waffle. Okay then, so what have we started on? Well, we've got one finished, which I'll show in a minute. That's off camera. You can just see it there. You've seen it if you've seen the build series. So... We start the Japanese Land of the Rising Sun GB. You can build anything Japanese, armor, aircraft, cars, bikes, whatever you want to do. The post over on ISM, you can post in there. I chose to do the R32 GTR Skyline. Um, it's grown on me a lot, this car. I'm a big fan of the R34, um, but this has really grown on me since I started building it. So we've gone with the Tamiya kit. It's getting a little bit harder to find now. Uh, it is out there and it's fairly cheap as well. And it's not a bad kit for its age. It's a 1989 kit, but it actually cleans up pretty well. It's not bad at all. So we've got the Tamiya kit. Um, we've also added some Hobby Design 18-inch Advan rims as well. We've got a Hobby Design detail upset, uh, which comprises of two frets of uh, PE. Um, and we used a mass set as well, which didn't fit terribly well. The Hero Boy mass set didn't fit great at all. So we've got two sets of masks here, we've got two sets of brake discs, you've got normal and grooved, we'll be going with the grooved, and there's a few other components, seatbelt buckles, window wipers, uh, the fan, um, light surrounds, grills, there's all sorts of stuff in there, it's not a bad detail upset for about the £8 it cost. So we're going to add that as and when, well, were required, whether we add it all I don't know. Um, and we've got the Advan racing wheels as well and i also added the uh dunlop tires in there as well they're the 245 tires uh but they're a good looking rim they're all glued together ready for some primer later today and once we get the tire on um they're a little bit bigger than the kit rims and hopefully they'll fill the arches a little bit more and look a little bit better we can get this on, it'd be fantastic. Helps me get these nubs off, I suppose. Off the back. There we go. It's better. Of all these, I think all of them bar. No, no, we removed one. Sod law, isn't it? So yeah, if we push it in, there we go. So they should look pretty good once they're in. And they should be improved over the kit rim. So, colour of these, they can be bronze. Um, same colour we did the silver gunmetal GT40 in. Um, so that's those. Now the car itself uh, had a choice of colours and in the end I went for um, cherry red which is a factory colour. It's in here, it was 2 k yesterday so it's in there for safekeeping. If you see my little plastic case you'll know what that involves. So this was primed in UMP grey primer which I added white to, well the other way round really um so that we got a light gray primer uh the bodywork took quite a bit of clean up it's an older kit like i say a lot of deep seams on it and it did take a couple of hours to get it all sorted and you know ready for paint and what have you and then it was given oh god there's a two part coat sorry two part paint set from hero boy for this the cherry red i think it's ah3 um so the base color is probably seven or eight coats and then the top metallic um, colour was about the same as well. And then we've cleared it in Gravity Spain, 2K clear. 
and I think you can't admit it's a beautiful colour. It really is a stunning colour, and it looks pretty close to what I'm trying to match, um, which is this. I'll pop a picture up now. This is an image we found online. My buddy Alan found it, um, and that's what I'm trying to replicate. The wheels are very similar to it. I think they are the same, actually, looking at it. Um, we're going for the cherry red, and what we've also done as well, I did actually buy some window tin film, but on 24 scale, it just doesn't look right at all. So what I've done is I've actually masked off, ignore the fingerprints, it's got fingerprints all over it. Um, we use the mask set to mask it off to do the window surrounds as per normal, as you can maybe see. And then we've used um, Alclad Transparent Smoke, masked off the front part, and then tinted the lenses, as you can see, inside. So they're not a fully tint, but they're not see-through. Um, the interiors on these cars are pretty bland, uh, kit form, and in real life as well, really. The Japanese cars aren't the most interesting inside. So this way, I don't really need to pay attention to the interior a lot, because you're not really going to see it. And we get that tinted window look that I've got off that base picture I found. So this is going really, really well. Very happy with this. I have all the parts cut off, ready for um, cleanup. And I'll be honest, after all the cleanup I did in that 959, I can't really face cleanup at the minute. So this is going to be my job for tomorrow night's live show. <laughs> Whilst we're sitting there for three hours, I'm going to sit there and clean all these parts up because it's immensely boring and when you have concentrated something like that it really does speed up the process so that's good to see so yeah this is coming on really well spoilers done as well uh, we've got a few specks of dust here and there but overall it's a pretty decent 2k job if you know me i put my 2k on a little bit thicker because i like to work it back a touch and you can see there a little bit of distortion on the roof it's a bit thicker than maybe you you might put on but me i always put on a little bit thicker so i've got plenty of 2k to work with so there we go. A few people asked about this lately. This is my plastic storage tub. I've got two of these, and what I've done is I've drilled underneath and then zip tied on two clips. Now, the idea of that is this thing, which the car is securely mounted to via masking tape, so it can't fall off no matter how big. Well, you can love the spoiler around, but the car can't fall off. Um, it clamps in there like so, and then you can literally. No matter what happens to this, if it gets knocked, dropped, whatever, it doesn't damage the car at all. This 2K is dry, by the way. It's been done for over 24 hours. Um, so it's safe in there then, which is great because then you don't need to worry about where you put it, where you store it, and what have you. And then what I've also done is, not very neatly, I admit, because I had a bit of a palaver drill in the holes, was I drilled two 18 mil holes in the side and this is the mesh that you get with tamiya kits i just hot glued it on um it's not neat it's not a pretty thing at all uh, and it just adds a little bit of air circulation front and back so that when it's fully off gassed it can sit in there uh, without fear and then the beautiful thing of this is it clips in place like so so it's fully safe in there it's away from the edges there's no dust can get in there because of the mesh um, and what I like to do is when it's been freshly done I will lift one end and pop something in there to keep that little gap open to let it fully off gas ball by itself then after a few days once it's done I can click it down and the vents in the side still a little bit of air to circulate but in there it's safe I can stack these I can literally move it around the room it's no problem at all knowing that it's fully safe in there and these are about I don't know six seven quid from any cheap department store home bargain if you're in the uk b&m bargains dollar stores i don't know but it's made by wham thank you um and yeah it works really well so a few of you have asked about that and this is how it works and it does fit the 16 scaling because the porsche went in there just um moving on to which we have here so this is the 959 that we did for the last video build absolutely stunning this i enjoyed this kit immensely absolutely brilliant fun um so it's the fujimi 16 scale kit absolutely fantastic the only complaint i've got is the glass mainly the side door glass you can see a few marks just at the top there not much you can do about it at all it's glue um it's the weak point of the kit and i will show you my flaws you know i will i just need to wipe that glass as well there's a few fingerprints on there making it look worse than it actually is but overall, 
it's a nice kit. It went together really well. Um, and I did thoroughly enjoy this build. Um, so this was... Uh, we'll talk about this in a minute, actually. I've got some pictures. They're better to talk to. But everything opens on this. I'm hoping I can get the doors open without wrecking everything. Hopefully. There we go. So both doors open. We'll only open the one for now because the one's a little bit stiff. But there you go. Both doors open. We carpeted it all. It's all grey leather painted inside. It looks all right. If I just do this again, I'll probably paint around the window glass itself. Because once you open the door, you can actually see it in there. It, that is the weak point. That side glass there is the weak point of this kit. And at some point, I may revisit it, take the door back off, and replace that with acetate because I think it would look better. But overall, it came out well. Happy I chose the grey leather interior. The doors just need pushing in a bit as well. There we go. Um, that worked out really, really well. If I can get the uh, the luggage compartment to pop open, which is easier said than done. I have to use a knife very carefully. There we go. That was all flocked as well. We've got our leather look tool bag, jack bag in there as well. So that came out really well. Very nice. And then the engine compartment at the back. Um is really nice for a kit engine it did come out really well very very happy with that like i say you see the full build of this on the channel there's 10 parts to it i am thinking of condensing them down into a shorter 20 minute video the whole lot set to music because i see a lot of videos like that and they do get a lot of views so i thought we'd give it a go maybe problem is i've got about seven hours of footage to whittle down to a uh, 20 minute video which is easier said than done but we'll certainly give it a go. But there we go. Absolutely beautiful kit. Really enjoyed this. And I need to find a nice safe place for it now. In the display case. Because it's on a shelf at the bottom. You can't really see it. And everything else is in the way. So yeah. Stunning kit as well. Really enjoyed that. Right then. So while we're here. We'll have a little chat about it as well. I have some pictures. So I'm going to pop them up as we go. So this is the Fujimi 16 scale Porsche 959, it's a sport version, although we didn't use the sport parts because I didn't like the seats in there to be honest. Um, this was primed <laughs> in UMP black primer, I was trying to remember what I did then. Um, it was then base coated in the Gravity Spain uh, Meteor Grey, which is a stunning metallic grey colour, absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's 2K clear coated in the Gravity Spain 2K. Um, We've used various Tamiya LPs on the engine um, and the engine bay cover. The wheels were LP72 off the top of my head, if I remember right. Brake colors we painted in LP7 red. Um, and then, like I said, just various LP metallics, some AK metallics here and there. The lights, we burn metal forward all the back of them. I think it made a big difference to the kit. Um, it came out really well. We used some embossing powder for the carpets. Quite a lot of that, to be honest. And we painted the interior in a light, well, a grey mix. Not mix, but an in-between grey leather colour. I can't remember the exact colour off by heart, um, offhand. But I'm happy I chose the colour. We were looking at red to begin with, like a maroon red. But I'm glad I went with the grey in the end, because it turned out really well. So really enjoyed this kit. Um, it certainly put the um, yeah finishing touches to the year on the video builds. That is for sure. Uh, it was a good way to end it. Um, but we'll definitely be back in the new year with a new video build. Uh, I'm not quite sure what yet. I haven't fully decided. But there we go. Fujimi 116th Porsche 959. So there we go. This is the R32 Skyline in progress. Well underway. Probably about five days work left on that one maybe um and then the other five nine five nine for fujimi the video build which just looks beautiful very happy with that one uh so like i say when the when the r32 is done we'll come back we'll do another bench update we'll have a look at that finish we'll look at the builds of the year that i've done and we'll have a look through the ferrari group build as well and for each one of these group builds i'll ask for pictures i stopped doing it because the last time i asked nobody gave me a picture so i kind of stopped doing it um, but if we can keep the interest going, then we'll, we'll do it that way instead. So kits, uh, 16 scale Fujimi kits, I've got five of now. They're up there. We've got the 
F40, which looks stunning. We've got the Testarossa, which looks all right. It's probably the most disappointing one of the lot. We've got the Koenig Lamborghini Countach, which looks phenomenal, really does. Uh, and we've got the Nissan R382 as well, which looks a lovely kit. And just recently, one of our viewers or members, Lee, messaged me saying he had this. Would I be interested in buying it or swapping it for a built kit? And I was like, okay. So we did a swap for that. Uh, the box is a bit battered, but the kit's brand new inside. Uh, and I traded in my R33 Skyline, the purple one that I did. Very happy. I'm happy with the swap. He's happy with the swap. So we've got five of these now. So that's the 512 BBI. That's the predecessor to the Testarossa with the flat 12 in it. Very interesting car. Um, and yeah, looks a good kit as well. What the rest of them are going to be like to build, I don't know. Because I've heard some horror stories about them. But we'll see. Because I've got them. And we're going to see. I've also put a 16 scale MPC uh, Firebird. 16 scale 356 Porsche from Revel. Um, I bought the MPC Air Fix reboxing of the AC Cobra as well, which does look really good, actually. Um, and I think that's it. So, kind of jumped on the 16 scale bandwagon, and as Gary says, I'll probably end up selling them about a year, but if I do, I do. It's one of those things, isn't it? Um, but I've enjoyed that Porsche 959. It was a good build. But I've just got so many, that's sounding big, I've got so many nice kits that you kind of get to the point of like, what the hell do I build next? But it's the video builds that are kind of keeping me going at the minute as well. And I want to make sure it's something that you're all interested in watching. So if you've got any ideas, pop them in the chat. My scale mates is in the last video I did. In the last part 10 of the 959 build. Have a look through. Any ideas, let me know. Brian, don't say snow speeder. I know you're going to do it, but don't say snow speeder. We will 100% build a snow speeder as a video build. I just don't know when. It might be. I might get the inclination to do after Christmas. I might watch Empire Strikes Back. I think, yeah, I really want to do that. But for now, I'm kind of just, yeah, in limbo. We're having nothing to think. We're going to get the skyline done, um, and then we'll think of our next project. There we go. Right, I am waffling. Waffling. My phone's gone off again. I'm waffling that long. Right, two more things before we go. Ultra Model Products, myself and Lee's business had a restock. Our primers are back in stock. Airbrushes will be in stock soon. I think it'll be just after Christmas, sadly. Um, we've got more of our um, tools on the way um, and what have you. So, yeah, we'll get fully restocked. Um, Post is going on quick since Lee's taken over. He's got so much more room. Her life's a bit easier that we're getting stuff out so much faster. It's made a huge difference. It really has. And I think Lee's guaranteeing almost next day delivery now on most orders. So that's really good. UK, obviously. Um, so, yeah, get on over there. Get your wallet out. Have a bit of a spend. And, uh, yeah, treat yourself. It's Christmas. It's Christmas after all. And finally, because I haven't shown it in a while, but people always ask the aquarium. How's the aquarium doing? It's doing really, really well. I'll stick a bit of footage up while we chat. Um, this is, like, where are we now? September, October, November, December. 15 months old this is now. So if you don't know about it, it's no filter, no heater. There's no filter in there at all. There's no heater in there. It's filtered naturally by all the plants and the beneficial bacteria that's in there. Um, and it's heated by the room basically it sits at about 25c uh, it's full of cherry shrimp uh, and my own well they've bred from yellows reallys and reds to all sorts of different colors um, and we've got about five endler guppies in there as well which basically the to provide the food for the plants they add ammonia to the water the plants process the ammonia filter the water and we end up with just plants that grow like wildfire um, and a shrimp population that's in the couple of hundreds from the 20 or 30 I bought 15 months ago. So they're doing really well. They're really happy. All the levels are perfect. There's no excess algae. The only problem I've got is my red, um, is it a, rick a rickia? I can't remember the plant now in the middle. It's not doing well. It's, it's, it's kind of died back, grown back, died back. And I think I'm just going to call it done. So I'm going to cut it out and we'll see, we'll cut it right back, we'll cut all the dead off and we'll see if it will grow up again. I am adding um, fertilizers in there, including extra iron. It is CO2 injected with a very simple CO2 system, it's just a pressurized can. And there is a power head in there to add a bit of movement, but it just doesn't seem to be coping well. It's in direct light, it gets loads of iron, loads of 
fertilizer so yeah there's no reason it shouldn't grow but yeah it's not doing well um it was flourishing at one point but yeah not doing well so we may cut that out and replace it but i'm going to trim it right back probably after christmas and then we'll give it another go and see if we can get it to come back to life but yeah beautiful in there it's very nice to look at low maintenance just needs a water change every other week and a top up every week um very nice if you're thinking of getting one it's perfectly fine here as long as you've got good filtration for your paints it won't affect them at all um and yeah it's a nice addition to the cave to look and watch and there we go that's enough waffle today god knows how long this is it's about 20 30 minutes long uh we do apologize but i had a lot to get through hopefully you stuck with me maybe you haven't i don't know should have stuck a secret question in the middle but it didn't um like i say we'll be back next week when the r32 is done um and then don't forget we've got our christmas shows which i talked about earlier as well there we go as always check out intestinal scale model facebook page and forum umpretail.com my paul ism facebook page and instagram and make sure you sub to the channel give it a thumbs up click the bell notification and please leave a comment if you want to leave a comment leave it i will try and answer you, i promise you but if not i read everyone and i'll heart it up if i'm ready in future as well so there we go thanks for the waffle well, not thank you for the waffle. Sorry for the waffle. I'll catch you all next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.